We're also getting attacked by uh, some lovely asteroids at the moment. But don't worry, they don't do damage. We're already running out of uh, resources nearby. Oh, I'm terrifying. Oh no, I can't! No, 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 we're gonna die! So, I, uh, I have a confession. Today, after being caught stealing candy from a baby, I've been uh, subsequently sentenced to terraforming this planet. And if I die, well, uh, well, it's all over. So, we are going to complete this. Yes, today we're going to be playing, or attempting at least, Planet Crafter in Hardcore. And as you can see, um, the O2 and the water drops very quickly. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is collect a load of resources uh, in order for us to start building up a little bit of an economy. We're already running out of oxygen. Ugh. Now, because it's so early on, we're going to want to really focus on collecting iron Ooh, and also exploration because we're going to need to get some more food but also ice and cobalt so that we can build the nope back back next step for us is going to be building a little like housing area this is actually going to be really useful for us because if we go in here you'll see that we get our oxygen back oh we need to drink some water but it will also allow us to explore further out Oh, what we could really do with this. We want to push oxygen so that we can... We're going to need to get some water. Ice. Ice, ice. Um, what else? Oh! Oxygen! 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 No! 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 Not a good start! Not a good start! Not a good start! Not a good start! Let's uh, get some rips in chat for that. <laughs> okay, we're all allowed one death, but... If it happens again, I'm uninstalling the game. I'm not dealing with this, it's too stressful. Okay, let's start again. So, I have a confession to make. Today, after being caught stealing avocados from an old lady, I've been subsequently sentenced to, uh, terraforming this planet. <laughs> okay, right. Same again, actually we're inside a cavern which doesn't have many resources, which is really bad for us. Um, oh goodness me, this this might not be good. I'm, I'm really suffering here because there's a lot of aluminium. There's uh, actually quite a bit of iridium as well, which are like relatively late game items. You don't use that much early on, but there's not much else. And so I'm really struggling to, to get the resources to, that I need in order to, to progress. It's such a beautiful little section of the world. Uh, we do have enough resources now, so I'm just going to go back, head in there to, to get some oxygen, and then we're going to push outwards. Here we go. This is better. Okay, let us build a nice little spot just over here. Now, I do have a slight concern with our health dropping. We need food in order to keep that up. But if we fall down, uh, we can actually damage ourselves and we can die that way. So it's going to be really important trying to balance the, the food that we need to take to keep alive and also to make sure that we have enough food to last while we're exploring until we can actually build food growers, which we get later on in the game. So this wind turbine, along with this veggie tube, Marks, marks our first step with this into terraforming the planet. Now, one thing that I will mention is that if you do quit the game, make sure that you save before you quit because I spent about an hour after this point and I forgot to save. We're going to continue on. We're going to have this up. You can see that we have our terraformation on the go again. Um, more importantly, we're going to explore in this direction. And then what I really want to do today is to try and get a like a, a build full of these um, food, like oxygen growers, getting weird senses of deja vu here. And uh, with it being hardcore, the uh, the sooner we get our economy running, the better. So you can see we, we, we're working on this currently and we need 12 PPT for the food growers. Right, let's go adventuring. So we've made it to the ship and I just had to log out the game really quickly and I think I've noticed something quite interesting which could potentially be abused, right? 
look at our health and our water bar. So if I, I oh, save the game, I guess, and then we quit, if we rejoin, look, we have food and water. So we could potentially, if we wanted to abuse this system, we're not going to, um, but for the devs might be good to know. Uh, we're actually going to go in here and hopefully uh, find some stuff worth taking. Uh, so we're gonna jump in and uh, grab I know there's stuff down here because uh, I've, I've already done this today. This is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. This is going to be really tight. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh goodness me. This game really stresses me out when it comes to oxygen. Okay, let's have a look. What we let's first of all let's drink some water. Um, what we've managed to get is a load of food, which is really good. We really need that. We've also got two bl um, blueprint microchips, which we're going to take back now uh, to the other place to research. A load of resources, including um, some aluminium. We had some in the other one. Some super alloys and iridium. And then over here, look at all this. This is so good. This is exactly what we need. We are back in our little capsule that we call home. I want to decode some blueprints. And uh, we've unlocked the agility boots, which are actually really useful uh, and I think we can build them uh, well we don't have the fabric I'll need to go back to the base for them I think we're gonna go into this area oh no oh no I have oh not this again I am going to hide in here and the reason for that we're also getting attacked by uh, some lovely asteroids at the moment but don't worry they don't do damage we're already running out of uh, resources nearby Oh, I'm terrified. Oh, no, I can't. No, 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 we're going to die. Like, the fact that we're able to run 15% faster now is actually going to help us a lot. And the same with having the the bigger backpack. I think I think we're good to go exploring again. I really don't want to get lost here because if we... Ooh, another one of these. If we can't find enough space to build our thing, we're just going to die. Ooh, I'll take that. And here we are. The other ruined spacecraft. Uh, or space station, I don't know. We, we want to know, we want to find out what's happened here. Come on, quickly. We don't have time to waste. There's so much stuff to just break down. Okay, you. We'll just take it all. Wait, is that a take it all button? That would be so much more useful. It's getting a little bit tight in here, so we are going to head back to the base now. I think this flat space is going to be like perfect for our own uh, little... Oh, we could place something over here. Uh, no, I think here is good for us. Ooh, I like that. Okay, here. Here is perfection-ish. As good as, good as possible. <laughs> uh, the next thing that we need to do is ex like expand all of this out, at least a few pieces. So we're going to need a few more of these. And we have now unlocked the backpack tier three. Uh, we need to get the aluminium there from the other base. It's fine, we can we can collect some stuff while we're there. And I think what we're going to do is lift this onto some foundations because like a good pioneer, you want to build on foundations, right? Anyway, onwards. So here we are. We have actually got about 10 pieces of iron to play around with now. So I thought it'd be good to start building some foundations for our base. Yeah, I think that works. And for now, we will just place these here and a little walkway up, you know. We're not... Ah, perfect. And we'll move all of this on top of there. How much have we got? We've got three more. Hmm. Uh, and then also in here, we have aluminium. I've got my base building parts for when I'm exploring. You know, I'm, I'm really... Or well, I say organized. We've got more aluminium and stuff, but yeah. Soon, this will look beautiful. So, here we go. One. Two. Three. Ta-da! Okay, so it's not much yet. Uh, but to give you the grand little tour, we have our storage area currently. We've got lots of plants in here. We have uh, other stuff. We have all of our ice because we're going to need that for the 
a garden area, which we're going to do next. We just need to place all the oxygen plants in here. I just unlocked, if we go here, oxygen tank three, which is fantastic. We really need this. I uh, went to upgrade it and realized we've only unlocked oxygen tank one and oxygen tank three. So we can't actually build it. <laughs> we can't. It's so annoying. Let's see what we need to unlock in order to Oh, we need to do pressure. We haven't done any of that. So we now have a very basic setup of miners or pressurizers, extractors. I'm not sure what they are, um, but they will bring us what we need, hopefully for the tier two oxygen tank so we can unlock the third one soon. Oh, there you go. What did, What are the chances? Oh, I didn't even realize that we have now unlocked food grower. So that that is pretty much what I wanted to unlock in this episode. So put them in here to grow for food. I can't believe we've done that, actually. Uh, we've been rather lucky. I've just realized we have no water. We do have ice. We do have ice, so we're fine. But the next thing that we need to do in the next episode is, is to sort out some way of getting water to us, I think, because well, we're running out of ice because, look, we're down to four out of two boxes just for these. But I am determined that we will be successful. We've also unlocked the windows just now, which is fantastic. So I'm, I'm pretty chuffed. So there you are, guys. That is... Uh the first episode if you did like it please do drop a thumbs up and obviously if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe for more content we will be proceeding with part two in the next few days also if you like the look of this game but you're still not sure why not check out my review next i'll put a link in the top right hand corner in the cards or you can click the box anyway guys until next time special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters most notably our solo eclipse patrons the calamity cerebral tag james Irwin, and jerry too as well as our Luna's Dixie Chris, Lord of July, and Ben, and our Blood Moon, Papa Snoozy. Anyway, guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.